evening fight fans it's your boy joe martini back again with another preview prediction of a championship fight happening tomorrow evening march 17th in new york espn espn deportes um jose ramirez is going to be fighting a guy by the name of amiri mom 12 rounds for the vacant wbc junior welterweight title um jose ramirez has 21 wins um Zero losses, zero draws. He's got 16 knockouts in 73 rounds. Um, he's a seven-year professional who is ranked 23rd at the super lightweight. He's 25 years old, and he's from California. He's five foot ten, uh, with a 72 and a half inch reach. Um, some notes about Mr. Ramirez is um, he's, um, uh, you know, he's uh, never fought a world champion. This is he's not gonna fight a world champion. Um, but he's never fought one yet, so that's interesting. Um, and he's going up for a world title. Um, he's never faced a boxer with more than 17 knockouts. So Imam is the best uh, KO artist he will have ever faced uh, to this point of his career. Um, and you know he's faced a fighter with 30 wins before, 30 wins, but never a world champion. Never with somebody with more than 17 knockouts. Um, he's never in his pro uh, career fought a boxer with a losing record when he faced them. So, you know, he likes to fight winners. Uh, he's not out there trying to get a warm-up fight. He's not out there trying to fight bums. So that's good. Um, in fact, his uh, opponents have a career uh, winning percentage of 69%. That's 305 wins and 140 losses. 69% is uh, his opponent's uh, winning percentage okay so uh, again he's not fighting guys that just want a paycheck um, he's fighting guys that want to win um, so let's uh, cover Amir Young Master Imam um, he's got 21 wins 1 loss 0 draws 18 knockouts in 81 rounds he's an 8 year professional who is the 64th ranked welterweight 27 years old from New York he's also 5 foot 10 and a half with a 74 inch reach so some notes about him is that uh, his opponents have a career winning percentage of 45 percent they lose more than what they win uh, that's 304 wins and 371 losses uh, they lose more than what they win again and um, none of them have been world champions in their career so he hasn't fought a world champion either um, in his career He's never faced a boxer who had at least 20 knockouts. Never. Uh, he's never faced a boxer with 30 wins, at least 30 wins ever. He's never fought. Uh, he's never faced a boxer who is taller than him. At five foot ten and a half, he's never fought anyone taller than him. They've all been shorter. Um, he's got no world champion opponents in his career. Um, you know, so. <laughs> uh, he is undefeated in the United States at 16 wins, zero losses. Um, it will be uh, his first fight at Madison Square Garden, even though he's from New York. First fight in Madison Square Garden. Um, Ten of his 22 career opponents have losing records. So almost half of his opponents have losing career records. And um, I feel like, you know, at 27, um, you know, his, his alias is Young Master. Nah, dude. Is, is young hype that's what your alias is young hype because you haven't really done anything at this point and you're 27 so young master no young hype um it's gonna be a slugfest though um i think imam has power but hasn't got more than eight rounds in almost three years okay so if he doesn't knock him out ramirez early he will he will probably tire in the second half of the fight like he did against um, adrian ganados when he was stopped in the eighth round in 2015. Um, Ramirez needs to fight inside and stay busy. And uh, Mr. Young Height needs to, um, you know, Mr. Young Height needs to basically um, keep busy. And um, needs to keep busy and use his jab, utilize that jab, or else it's gonna be another Granados uh, ending for this dude. Um, So yeah, man. Um, so, uh, Mr. Amir, let me put this flavor in your ear. 
Uh, rest in peace to Craig Mack who passed away this week. And um, basically jab and move, man. Jab and move. That's what you got to do to win this one. Um, if he sticks to that game plan, he's going to win. But if not, if he tries to slug it out, it's not going to be a nice ending for him. Um, I think that Imam has faced weak competition. And when I say weak competition, I mean in losing records. Um, Ramirez has faced weak competition. And when I say weak competition for him, there's no KO power. So it's going to be in a good fight. But I have uh, Ramirez, who basically is the H2O champ, the water champ, if you know his history in California. Uh, he's going to make it rain in New York City, man. And um, I think he's like Adrian Granados uh, with a little more power. Um, so after having, you know, a world title, Maybe these guys, you know, can step it up towards better competition. Your boy, Joe Martinez.